Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Volvo EX30, an exciting electric car, and an important step on our journey. Volvo to fully switch to electric vehicle production by 2030. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on exciting future content. The Volvo EX30 is a fully electric compact crossover, and it represents Volvo's goal that by 2025, they want 50% of sales to be electric vehicles. This demonstrates that Volvo is standing at an important crossroads in the development of electric vehicles. And speaking of innovation, the EX30 is not just about comfort, but also a complete reinvention of the concept of luxury. For decades, Volvo has always emphasized advancements in design, natural materials, space, and functionality in creating their luxury. Let's learn more about this Volvo EX30 and how it marks an important step in the brand's transformation. Let's start. In the world of electric vehicles, we have seen that even though these vehicles have zero carbon emissions while in operation, the way they are built still has a major impact on the environment. The problem starts with the materials used to make their batteries. This is an important piece of the puzzle that has left many automakers thinking about how to do this effectively without burning mountains of money in the process. A GMC Hummer EV looks good on paper because it lacks a big V8 engine under the hood, but when you consider how many smaller batteries could be built using the figures needed to create the Hummer's massive 205 kilowatt hour battery, you quickly realize that the whole idea of this car is as silly as like previous gasoline-powered ancestors. For electric vehicles to be efficient, it is more important that they be equipped with small capacity batteries. And to do this, the car also needs to be compact. Along with this mindset, 2025 welcomes the Volvo EX30, a completely new electric vehicle in the compact crossover segment, and it perfectly embodies this mindset in a lovely way with typical Scandinavian style. What Volvo is trying to convey through this car is that the simpler life is, the happier you are, provided, of course, that you buy a car from them. Volvo tries to convey the idea that the simpler life is, the happier you are, if you buy a car from them, of course. Quick technical information about the Volvo EX30 includes 64 kWh NMC lithium-ion battery, 275 miles, for rear-wheel drive, or 265 miles, for all-wheel drive, range, charging rates DC 153 kW, 268 horsepower and 253 lb-ft of torque, for rear-wheel drive, or 422 horsepower and 400 lb-ft of torque, for all-wheel drive, base price from $34,950 plus destination charge, for rear-wheel drive, or $44,900 plus destination charge of $1,295, for all-wheel drive, and prices after as tested, $41,895, for RWD, or $48,195, for AWD. The EX30 may be small, but it's important to Volvo. This is the first time the Swedish car company has entered the low-cost, high-selling car market in large numbers, something the company has never done before, and especially not at a global level. We'll see how it turns out once it actually hits dealerships, but it's also a cheap electric car. Such cars are lacking in our automotive offerings, and it is for this reason that electric vehicles are considered unaffordable for many common users. It's also worth noting that this car is made in China. At least until Volvo reorganizes the Ghent plant in Belgium, where the EX30 will eventually be produced. So the low price at launch remains the same despite high import tariffs on cars made in China and no tariff rebates in the US. A creative and fierce minimalist strategy. The article also carefully analyzes the size of the Volvo EX30, its price reduction and its strengths. This car is very cute thanks to its compact and neat design. Even though there isn't too much space for cargo, it seems useful and convenient. It continues by talking about the design of the Volvo EX30 and how it stays meticulous and minimalist. The EX30 retains the familiarity and sophistication of Volvo design, despite its compact size. With its strong lines and car-like stance, it gives a large impression of size when viewed from a distance, 
roughly equal to that of a mid-size car or small SUV. However, when you approach the EX30 or put it next to other cars, you will see how small it really is. The exterior designer of the EX30, Maxime Prevotos, said that the impression of meticulousness was one of the important criteria for this car's design. Thanks to its strong lines and stance, you'll feel this vehicle is larger than a mid-size car or small SUV from a distance. However, when you approach the EX30 or put it next to other cars, you will see how small it really is. The article also mentions that the Volvo EX30 is not a replacement for the XC40-C40 series produced at the Ghent factory. However, because this car uses a completely different platform, specifically the Geely Group's SEA2 platform, Sustainable Experience Architecture, it cannot be ruled out that the EX30 could develop into a new product line of compact electric vehicles at Volvo. There may be a larger version of the new generation XC40-C40 series, or EX40, based on this platform in the future. The article presents what it's like to drive the Volvo EX30, including its quick acceleration and performance weaknesses. It emphasizes that the EX30 is not a sports car, feels heavy, and is not appreciated for its performance, especially when we compare with the ability to reuse energy. The article also states that the price of the Volvo EX30 is in the low price range compared to other premium electric crossovers, with a base price starting at $34,950 and not exceeding $50,000 when fully optioned. The EX30 truly positions itself in a whole new segment of models, and it has the potential to create new trends in the electric vehicle market.